All right, welcome. So we're going to talk about the washer and dryer set out here at Station 4. There's a couple little things different um, that we'd like to show you. Number one is our soap dispenser, and number two is the new washer. So we're going to kind of sample with a set of turnouts we're going to wash. Of course, make sure you're wearing your PPE before you take apart your gear. Um, take apart your liners and your shells. Um, we'll wash the liners together with the hood. Turn the liners inside out. So we're going to come over here to the new machine. We're going to open it up, load it just like normal. Okay, so these are basically lightly soiled liners. So we'll turn on the machine. Basically, it's a touch interface. So the program names are right here at the top. It says and then you'll just scroll back and forth between the program. So there's light shells, heavy shells, which are listed here, light shells, heavy shells, light liners, heavy liners, heavy shells with bio. So the biohazard is the blue strike back. We'll talk about that. Heavy liners, bio, oil soaked gear, and then brush gear. And then it goes back to light shells. So your program numbers are listed right here under extractor program. Um, you can watch one set of turnouts or you can wash three sets of turnouts and we'll, we'll display, <clears throat> we'll talk about the difference between those. So for right now, these are just liners. So these are light liners, program three, light liners, and that's our program. But before we hit start, the first thing we have to do is prime our soap. So this new soap dispenser is programmable. It's a little bit different. Um, what's nice about this is we can program it, uh, program one, is for one set of turnouts. So if you're just washing one set of turnouts, you'll want program one. Program two is for two or more sets of turnouts, and you can do up to three in these washers. So what's also nice about this one is that you can prime it. The old one just ran for a certain amount of seconds. So if we, for instance, we were going to use this blue chemical, the strike back, uh, it's not primed yet. You see how it's halfway up the tube. Sometimes you'll see it all the way down the tube. The citrus squeeze, apparently they just washed it. It's good. So we have chemical all the way up the tube and we have chemical about to enter the machine. That's where you want your prime to set. So let's pretend that we were gonna use the blue chemical and we'll need to prime it. Here's the instructions for priming for the chemical that you need. So it says display should read ready P1 or P2. There's only two programs and that's what it says. Hold enter for three seconds. The display should read prime. So we'll hold enter until it reads prime. Press and release enter once again. So basically that's selecting prime. Now I can prime either the left or the right side. So if I were to just hold this, it would prime the left side. If I hold this one, it primes the right side. You see how the chemical is now coming up the tube? What I want is the, for the chemical to come up the tube and just start to enter the machine. So basically when it starts to enter the machine, I'm done. Don't worry about the tiny little bubbles. It's, it's not that big of a deal. But basically, I want the chemical fully up the tube and to start to end on the machine, and my priming is done. I could also prime the other side, but this one looks good. I've got chemical all the way up. I've got chemical about to enter the machine. So at this point, um, hold the plus, and plus key for the left side and the right key. If you wait too long, it'll automatically go back to the normal, to the normal side. But let's pretend that we were still in prime mode and we wanted to exit. Right, we're priming left to right. Just hit enter again, it'll go back to prime, and then hit the minus key to go down to escape, and then hit enter. Okay, and that's, that's it. Now this, program, now this pump is ready for program two. Now I need to select the soap number. Um, press enter once the display reads ready P1 or P2. So I'm, instead of holding it, I'm just pressing it once. And then I can select the program number, and then I just hit the plus or minus button to select program one or program two. Since there's only one set of turnouts in there, I just want program one, and then I'll hit enter to go back to here. At no point in time should you, when it says ready, P1 or P2, do not hit these plus or minus buttons. What that does is that starts the automatic dosing process, um, and it'll run for however long the, the soap is programmed. If you should accidentally do that, let's say I hit that accidentally and it starts dosing, just hold the escape button, the enter escape button, You'll see it goes back to prime, and then I'll go back to escape, and that, that stops that. 
Um, the machine will call for the soap that it needs. This thing is programmed for the time that it needs to dose the soap. So it, it's pretty foolproof. We're in program one, it says ready. We're ready to start the machine. So I've loaded the machine. I now go to the program that I want, right? I've got some liners, light liners, and then I'll just hit start. So it tells you right here how long the machine will run for. So this is program three, it'll run for 37 minutes. If it was heavy shells or bio, it'd run for 48 minutes. Just to give you an idea is when you can come back and check on, on um, to, to empty the machine. So at this point, we'll just hit light liners and then we'll hit start. Um, all I would have to do is hit start. I'm not going to hit start right now because I want to show you the drying rack and what to do with the liners and I don't really want them wet while I'm doing it. So that's all you'd have to do. This is your emergency stop button. If for some reason you need to stop the machine or something happens, you can press that and that's your emergency stop button. Um, that's pretty much it. So this is the station four dryer. It's a little bit different than the ones at the other stations. Um, this one's pretty simple. Uh, you turn it on if it's not already, and it says select program. You hit the P button, it says up here, and all the instructions are up here. Select the program, change the program with the P button. There's only three programs. Number one is for membrane, firefighting suits with membrane fabric. So setting one is if you're washing shells uh, with the liners or liners alone or gloves or hoods. So what uh, number one does is it lowers the temperature so that it doesn't damage your membrane liner. Um, program two, you just hit P again, it goes to program two. This is for firefighting suits without the membrane. So basically if you're just washing shells or just boots or something, you could use two. And then number three is just station wear, uh, basically brush gear or station wear if you need, if you need that dry as well. And then it goes to a time drying. If you think it needs a little bit more time or something, you could hit, you know, uh, 20 minutes or something. You hit the plus or minus button that goes, that goes up. Um, and that's, you know, 1.5 hours, 0.5 hours or something like that. Um, so we'll hit number one. How we load this dryer, this one's just a little bit different. We're going to have to redo that. So the hanger's pretty self-explanatory on the, on the liners, right? They're kind of inside out. Um, you'll hang those up. These things slide off, so you can just slide it off and then load your gear. It's kind of like the ones at Station 1. You load it. The pants, a little bit different design. So the airflow will come through here. We just kind of want our pants like that. And then we can hang gloves up here. So if we had hoods, gloves, whatever, you can just kind of hang them out on these things. Boots would go here. So if we had a set of boots, you could actually put four sets of boots in here. You could hang your boots like that. If you just have two sets of boots, you can probably double your action by doing that because the air will flow through these little channels right here. Um, if you're just drying one set, remove anything that you're not using and, and lay it on the floor or outside the cabinet. So these, these slideable locks right here, and then that way the air will just be forced into your single set. Obviously, if they're being used, yeah. So that's what this thing does is it closes and opens these. But as long as these are open, air is going to flow through here, and it just makes your drying less efficient. Um, so just take those off the, of the ones that you're not using. You could basically dry two sets of gear in here, um, either like you know two sets of liners or two sets of shells or one complete set on both. And then, of course, you'd use program number one because we're drying it with a liner. Close the door. And then on your drying, just hit start.